What does it mean to be smart? This question has puzzled philosophers, scientists, and educators for centuries. Traditionally, intelligence has been measured by IQ scores and academic achievements, but this approach is somewhat limited. It doesn't account for the multifaceted nature of human intelligence. Enter the concept of multidimensional intelligence. This perspective broadens our understanding of what it means to be intelligent. It encompasses not just logical and analytical abilities, but also emotional intelligence, creativity, problem-solving skills, and social intelligence. Consider the case of Steve Jobs. He wasn't just a tech wizard, he was also a master of understanding human emotions and desires. His creative genius and knack for problem-solving propelled Apple to become a global tech giant. So the next time you ponder over the meaning of being smart, remember this. It turns out being smart isn't just about knowing facts or solving complex equations, it's an intricate blend of various cognitive abilities. How often have you heard that creativity is the key to innovation? It's a statement that resonates because creativity indeed plays a pivotal role in our cognitive abilities. It's not just about painting a masterpiece or composing a symphony. It's about thinking outside the box, seeing connections where others don't and daring to ask what if. Consider some of the world's most groundbreaking inventions. The light bulb, for instance, was not the product of a linear thought process, but rather the result of Thomas Edison's relentless experimentation and his ability to imagine a world illuminated. Similarly, the creation of the internet, creation of the internet, a revolution in communication, was born from a blend of creative thinking and problem-solving skills. Fostering creativity isn't just beneficial, it's essential. It allows us to see beyond the obvious, challenge the status quo, and find innovative solutions to problems. Creativity isn't just about creating art. It's a powerful cognitive tool that can lead us to unexpected breakthroughs. Ever wondered why some people excel in certain areas while others don't? It's not just about intelligence or hard work. It's about understanding our unique strengths and passions, the things that make us tick, the things that light a fire in our souls. Consider this, two individuals, both equally intelligent, are tasked with painting a portrait. One has a passion for art, the other for mathematics. Who do you reckon will create the better piece? It's a no-brainer, isn't it? The one who is passionate about art is likely to excel. This is because when passion and strengths align, magic happens. Let's take a real-life example. Meet John. John was always a smart kid, but he struggled with traditional academic subjects. His passion, music. When he sat at the piano, it was as if he could speak a language that words couldn't capture. Despite his struggles in school, John pursued his passion, honing his musical strengths. Today, he is a celebrated composer, his music touching hearts worldwide. John's story illustrates the power of embracing our individuality. He could have forced himself into a box, trying to excel in areas that didn't align with his strengths or interests, but he chose to follow his passion and in doing so, unlocked his full potential. So, how do we discover our unique strengths and passions? It starts with self-awareness. Pay attention to what you love to do, what you're naturally good at. Don't be afraid to explore and experiment. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to success. It's about finding your path, your rhythm, your music. Embracing your individuality doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Seek guidance from mentors, learn from the experiences of others, but never lose sight of what makes you, you. Your journey may be different, but that's what makes it uniquely yours. In the end, it's not about being the best, but being your best. So let's celebrate our individual strengths and passions. Let's embrace our unique journeys and the magic that comes when we align our pursuits with our natural talents and interests. After all, when we align our pursuits with our natural talents and interests, we unlock the door to our full potential. So what does it mean to be smart? It's so much more than acing an exam or solving a complex equation. It's about understanding the multidimensional nature of intelligence, recognizing that our cognitive abilities are not confined to traditional measures like IQ. It's about acknowledging the critical role of creativity in problem solving and fostering it through techniques like divergent thinking and experimentation. It's about the courage to embrace failure as a stepping stone to innovation and discovery. But more than anything, being smart is about self-awareness. It's about identifying your unique strengths and passions and aligning your pursuits with them. This is the key to unlocking your full potential, to experiencing greater fulfillment and success. So go ahead, explore your intelligence dimensions, foster your creativity, embrace your individual strengths, unleash the power of your unique intellect. Being smart is about understanding and harnessing your unique cognitive abilities. 
So, go ahead, explore, create, and embrace your unique intelligence. And remember, keep your cognitive vitality thriving.